In this video, we'll show you like how to make matrimonial website. So it's a dynamic website with the two module. One is admin, one is a customer. And we'll show you this project in ASP.NET with C Sharp language with backend as SQL Server. It's totally a web application project demo. So here you'll understand like how to make this project using this technology. So we all know matrimonial is very very important in everyone person life. So searching a bride or groom it is a challenging job. So not to help them so the website has to be designed. So via website they could able to find out the corresponding groom or the bride. So in order to make this project you should understand what are the basics are required. Therefore I will show you like what are the basic things it is very essential needed for the project. So as we discussed, it will have two modules. One is the admin module. So one is a customer module. So a customer can sign up. Uh, they can log in. So here in the admin, admin can log in. So we will enter some basic entries. Uh, basic entry like you know, cast, country and some more details here. So once they log in, so here they can able to upload groom details. They can also upload bride details. Same way even other users are uploading. So therefore they can search options. So search groom. Same as search bride. So with that we can have a different types of membership so generally membership type one is free one is a premium membership so if you take up the premium membership some extra options has to be provided for the uh, groom or bride search or uploading so we'll see in the project what are the things we can do and how do we do this so let us look at the demo so two important modules one is admin module so here you can say that registered member list, qualification, profession, uh, then cast, subcast, all we can enter here. These are the master entries and the corresponding list. So the year we can see the bride list, groom list and receipt. If they take a premium, they need to make the payment. So that list we can see. And FAQ, frequently asked question that we can admin can enter. So on the other side, customer can able to view it actually. So they, they can see the membership types. They register the bride and the corresponding list. Register the groom and they can see the corresponding list. They can search brides, search grooms. And they can also have the option to delete the bride details or the groom details, whatever they already entered. Now let's see that how the whole thing works. Let me run this project. And here are the tables. Fine. As usual, we move on to admin module. So I'll just take up to admin. So here are the option to enter all the details. So if you go to list, some data is already entered. So cast and then subcast, all are entered actually. So we can enter more data, okay? So that's what very, very important. Then if you go to bride list and then groom list, there is some list is already available here. There is also a receipt list. Now we can go as a customer. So enter here. So first you need to sign up the, as a customer. Then you have to log in. So member tip like was if it's a premium, how much money you have to pay? If it's free, how much? And what are the advantages? Disadvantage, everything is there here. Okay. So you can register the bride name. Let's say Anushri, uh, father name. So okay, a lot of data you need to enter and you can also upload the picture here. So membership free of premium so that you need to choose here. Right? So if it's a uh, premium, then you need to make the payment for the same. Okay. Same way you have to enter the bridegroom details. All the details you have to enter here. Now what we can do is we can go and search for the brides. So age between 20 to uh, 25, 
there are no girls at this range okay 20 to 30 okay so we can search here so you can see that one details will come so if you select this the complete details has to come so based on that you can communicate with the bride and then you have to check it out later so same way you can search for grooms also so grooms 25 or 22 to 30 years so three people are there here okay so if i select the details so the details will come so we need to study the details then they need to do the selection so if you apply it like you no, know, if you enter the data you can able to delete them like so if i go to groom details okay you are not uploaded anything so therefore nothing is coming so if you upload all the details uh, from your site so therefore that list will come then you can able to delete it here and then faq list so you need to enter the data so even data entry is also very very important we need to enter all the data so when entering complete data it looks like almost like a real time and it'll do the job so these are the things we need to provide in order to make it as both the side to work properly. So hope you understand the concept. So please try this and let me know what you are thinking about it. And please write it in the comment. Uh, therefore we understand. So whether it is useful for you or you are looking for something else. So all you can write in the comments. So please try. Keep learn. And do well. Okay. Thank you very much.